Hey guys, I'm back for another uh, beer review. Um, and <laughs> sort of interestingly enough, I'm going to leave his uh, link in the description. My uh, good buddy here on YouTube, Pete, um, probably better known by most of you guys as Mondo Squalito. Uh, he's doing some beer reviews as well, and he just uh, was kind of talking about uh, lagers that are kind of mixed with an IPA or a pale ale. And <laughs> coincidentally, that's exactly what I'll be reviewing today. Um, this will just be a one review day, guys. I'm not going to get too crazy, but <clears throat> I'm going to try and do them a little bit during the week. Of course, I didn't wasn't able to get any up last weekend. Um, but anyway, guys, today is a... The 2015 Beer Camp Hoppy Lager from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Um, now, basically, what this is, guys, is this is their attempt, and it's sort of a one off. This is a limited edition. I don't know if they're going to continue to even make this. So, availability, if you're outside the U.S., could be about nil, unfortunately. But what this is, is they're a combination of a lager and an IPA. Um, it comes in at 7% uh, ABV, 55 I, uh, IBUs, or International Bitter Units. But basically, what it sounds like is they took their crisp lager and hopped the hell out of it to give it uh, the auspices of an IPA. So anyway, guys, like I say, this is their beer camp, which is where they do their experimental limited edition brews. So this here is their beer camp hoppy lager. I don't, again, I don't know about availability, guys. So anyway, we'll crack this open, guys, and give it a four and see what we've got here. Uh, well, here's the, I always forget to show this, but. The simple silver Sierra Nevada uh, bottle cap. Okay, I'll try and pour this halfway decent, guys. And not too shabby. Um, you know, again, very lagery color, although this appears, I didn't look, but appears to be either at least unfiltered, maybe bottle conditioned. Uh, pretty aggressive carbonation, although it's hard to see it on the camera because this is a cloudy gold beer. About one finger of a slightly off white head. We'll give it a sniff. And right away, uh, very hit with a lot of lemon, citrusy uh, goings on. It's very lagerish uh, in their first sniff. And now see again on the second sniff, it's biscuity. I get a biscuity thing, and I get a little bit of uh, grapefruit going on. So this is, this is definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, so you know I'm getting a little bit of that grapefruit, maybe just a just a pinch of a uh, pine, uh, but it's still a lager mostly, and a little more malt than you would get with a lager. So I mean, it's kind of got the the IPA characteristics as well. Um, so anyway, guys, cheers. We'll dive into this. Oh, this is a blind tasting, by the way, guys, so I didn't mention it, but this will be my very first thoughts. Cheers. Oh, this is nice. Uh, this is nice. Instantly a nice grapefruit, but it isn't like your normal grapefruit. It's that sort of honey part from the lager. Sort of, it's sort of like a sweet grapefruit. That makes sense. It doesn't have the bite that your normal IPA grapefruitish flavor has. Mm. 
It's very juicy, and I'm going to say it's like a very, it's like drinking your favorite fruit juice as far as the consistency. Um, it's, it's a little, I wouldn't call it thick, but it, it is like a fruit juice with maybe a, a little bit of pulp in it, sort of like an OJ kind of characteristic. Um, just a slight whiff, guys, at 7% of that alcohol, but it's not bad. It's not unpleasant or off-putting. You do just notice it. And that nice, uh, not as sharp as you'd expect at 55 IBUs, but there is a, a pretty good kick of bitterness on the finish. Um, really enjoying this. I mean, it does kind of have both of the, the crisp, uh, sort of refreshing characteristics of a lager with the fruitiness and the bitter backbone of an IPA. I, I would say they kind of nailed it. Uh, this is good. Unfortunately, like I say, this is a limited edition, guys, so I don't know how long they're going to sell this or if they're ever going to bring it back once it uh, goes, once they've sold out their lot. So I don't know. Um, it does say that it's a spring seasonal, but I don't know what that means, that they're definitely going to bring it back, because at the bottom it says available one time only. So, I don't know. This is the, from their Beer Camp series over there, which is their experimental stuff, and I know some of those they don't bring back. Excuse me. But this would be a real shame if they didn't, guys. So, uh, one more swig here, guys. Yeah, it's excellent. It's a nice lager. It's, it's basically what it sounds like. It's an IPA and a lager merged together and a good one on both counts. Uh, it blends together well and even at 7% this is drinking just fine. Um, so I would say, guys, I definitely would uh, recommend checking it out. I mean, it isn't like crazy stupid good or anything, but I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So it's certainly worth looking into if you can find it. So anyway, guys, that was uh, Sierra Nevada. Let me see if I can get this. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company out of California. Their 2015 Beer Camp Hoppy Lager. Uh, kind of um, IPA lager hybrid beer. Um, so anyway, interesting stuff, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk with you later.